Recovery efforts of the Titan submersible continue in the deep sea. Debris lifted up from the floor of the ocean confirmed by the U.S. Coast Guard to have presumed human remains from last week's voyage that ended in tragedy for the five on board. This is uncharted territory in that um, this is the first uh, fatality on a passenger carried submarine I can think of. Investigators are using cranes to lift large pieces of the wreckage, uncovering what appeared to be a panel from the exterior of the sub and one of its end caps. Canadian authorities saying they have inspected, documented, and cataloged the materials for its safety investigation, including sending the Titan's voyage data recorder to a lab in Ottawa before turning the debris over to the U.S. Coast Guard for its investigation. Former NTSB investigator Tom Houter telling ABC News it's still unclear what happened with the pressurized vessel section where the passengers were. Was it part of the composite shell? and taking a look at all these different pieces to see, um, is there fatigue crack? Is it a purely overload failure? Uh, what happened? Investigators will also analyze the design and carbon fiber composite construction of the sub. OceanGate had been warned by industry experts and a former employee that material at extreme depths could weaken with each dive. The Coast Guard Marine Board of Investigation says there's still a lot of work to be done to understand what led up to the catastrophic loss of the Titan and help ensure a similar tragedy does not happen again. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.